Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well as always. Uh, today I just wanted to go through a quick setup tutorial for the Reverb G2 headset. So I've been doing a lot of uh, my recording with the Oculus Quest 2 and um, I've got numerous tutorials about that. So I, but I switched over to the G2 about a month ago and I've just been tinkering with it for a while to try and get the best settings. And this, these are my best settings. It's not that complicated actually. I'm just going to run through it. Just I thought it would be helpful to have as a reference if you've got yourself a G2 and you want to set it up for MSFS in particular. So the first thing you need to do is download the OpenXR developer tools for Windows Mixed Reality. There's a link in the description below. If you just download this uh, application, if you install it, it runs along with the actual WMR uh, headset software. And what you want you to do is just go across to developer settings, go to settings, and uh, what I do, I, these are my settings. So I've got the use latest preview OpenXR runtime is on. The custom render scale, I change it from 100 to 70%. The reason why is because I'll show you in the game that I bump up the settings in game in terms of the actual graphic settings. But I, I feel that like this runs really smoothly in any kind of city um, built up area, it runs fine. Motion protection, I always have it on because it's not as obvious, I think, as the Quest 2 was. It's not, you don't get the warping as much, so I always leave it on. So once you're happy with that and you've set it up, you just need to reset the app and then we can move on to the next stage. So here I am back in the simulator and I've got the general graphic settings uh, on screen for you now. And uh, you notice that I've got uh, the render scaling at 80, not 100. Again, this is because in, in combination with the OpenXR developer tool, 70%, doing this at 80% really ensures that smoothness and that performance is just really, really smooth. Again, no matter where you are. So that's why I do it. You can run it at 100, but sometimes I notice, especially with the mods, the modded areas, it does drop a little bit. You can see all the different settings. I haven't got it on Ultra on everything. On some things I have, but you can see um, terrain vector detail, a data is high, buildings high, trees high, grass and bushes high. I do switch around the trees and the buildings depending on where I am to ultra. Uh, Volumetric clouds high, sometimes I have that on ultra. Texture resolution, uh, ultra. And you can see some of these are at the highest settings. Shadow maps, terrain map, shadows are at the highest settings. Shadow, contact shadows at high. Windshield effects at high. Ambient occlusion at high. Uh, reflections are ultra, light shafts are ultra. I find that these helps with the, the graininess that gets rid of that. So these are the, uh, the general settings for the graphics in game. Also, I want to show you the traffic settings. Now, that's my PC settings. On VR, I have everything in full. Okay, I have everything on full traffic because I have a lot of mods in terms of uh, airport traffic, road vehicles, leisure boats, ships and ferries. I have everything at, at full capacity because of my mods, basically. So I hope that helps get the general uh, graphics settings for your G2. And with these settings, you should find it runs really well, really nice and smoothly. I hope you find this tutorial helpful in getting your Reverb G2 set up. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But um, it's a great headset, very simple to use. It, what I like about it the most is you plug it in, you play, even during ga in, in, you're in the sim and you want to switch to VR, no problem, you just hook it up, turn it on, enter uh, VR mode, and it works very well because it's designed for this, this sim. So yeah, anyway, I hope it helps guys. Uh, have a good day, take it easy, and uh, see you soon.